is this thing on? Hello? Welcome back. I don't know where we went and what we're coming back to, but welcome back. Let's just go for a ride and have a little chit chat, shall we? You know, like since moving back from LA, I've actually felt a little bit, even like towards the end of LA a little bit, I think I felt a little directionless. And that's something I've been kind of struggling with because I feel like I've always been like this. Why am I here? Like, I'm, I'm here for a reason. What's my purpose in life? Like, so to not have a very clear vision of like what I'm supposed to be doing or what I think I want to do, it's like, it's, it's stressful. It's stressful, it like, for me, it really stresses me out. Where am I going? Wait, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Mm. <laughs> this, I never, I never change. I'm forever, never knowing where I'm going. No pun intended. Oh. Oh, this looks great. Thanks for taking a little ride with me while I think aloud, talk aloud. You know, so I have an accountability buddy this month again. I haven't had one in some time, but a long time ago when I used to do it when I was blogging, because it was such a consistent thing that I was doing, I saw a lot of value in it. I noticed that like just having um, somebody that you check in with every day and like you break down goals with, like it really does make a difference. So here we are, 2020. Can you believe? So I actually, because of a deal, my accountability buddy, like I was like looking through, you know, like my last decade, you know. Can you believe I actually started my blog, Diary of the Climbing Actress, that was like the first name, and then I realized I don't want to be climbing actress anymore. I want to be thriving, so I just switched it to Diary of the Thriving Actress, and then I realized I'm not really just doing acting things. This is more about like personal development. So it then again evolved into Diary of the Thriving Alex. Now, the, the original, the first post was on April 24th of uh, tw uh, 2010. That was 10 years ago. I cannot believe it. I feel like I like feel the same. I feel like I'm slightly a different person, but I'm also like a very same person. And in some ways I'm still in the same place, which is not good. So, 2020, we're gonna make some changes. I don't know how, but that's what I'm working on. And that's why I have an accountability buddy. And I'm gonna keep having an accountability buddy because I know that there's value in it. Here we are 10 years later. What's different, what's same? And I guess I kind of wanna like do a little time capsule video thing for myself moving forward into 2020. And one thing that I have that's on my goal list for 2020 is making more videos. So I really hope, and I keep saying this, and then I just have not been consistent. And then it makes me like depressed when I can't be consistent. So I'm working on consistency this year. Working on consistency. Missing consistent, no more. I'm going to be consistent all the time. What's different? What's same? You know what's different? The first thing that I have to say different in a good way in the last 10 years, my skin. My skin. I mean, I don't break out like I used to break out. And I just want to like point out that I'm not wearing any foundation. No 
tinted moisturizer, no BB cream, no concealer, no nothing, just sunblock. I threw on some highlighter and some blush. I do have eyeshadow, I do have mascara, I threw on a little bit of like the false lashes on the end, drew my eyebrows, lipstick, but no like actual like makeup makeup like skin coverage, I mean coverage. And 10 years ago, I used to wear heavy, heavy MAC makeup, foundation, concealer, layer, layer, layer. It used to take me about like an hour, almost two hours to get ready. Not anymore. Oh, another thing I'm proud of. I quit smoking cigarettes. Oh yes. I used to be such a smoker. I'm a non-smoker now non-smoker not an ex-smoker i am a non-smoker um i use the carry gainer method and that is a um three-part dvd it's a mixture of therapy and hypnosis and i was like that chick i'm just like nothing can get through this brain no hypnosis Gonna, is gonna work for me I was very cynical but here's the thing if you really want change if you really want that like long-lasting change you have to get like really serious and aggressive and intense and obsessive so like even with my skin I was pretty obsessive over my skin um, I was very obsessive over that time where that quit quitting time was happening um, so in the DVDs Carrie Gaynor he gives you all the tools you need you just have to follow and listen to the instructions and just do exactly because it is literally just rewiring your brain so that's something I'm proud of if you quit smoking cigarettes and you know you're missing it every day what is the point you're just like suffering every day there is a better way to do it. You just have to like rewire your neural pathways. So instead of now cigarettes being linked to your pleasure, it is now rewired and linked to pain because as humans, we are always operating from a place of avoiding pain or pursuing pleasure. Avoiding pain or pursuing pleasure. I got that one from Tony Robbins. So if you can just think of that, you're gonna have to just try to rewire your neural pathways so that cigarettes are pain. Pain, link it to pain, link it to pain. I know, I'm at a stoplight. Hold on, I am at how many? Oh yeah, and also Carrie Gaynor, he has like this app so I am at five years, three months, six days, and I saved $12,506.46. I have not smoked 19,240 cigarettes. So yeah, I mean, just the fact that I get to have like and see results like this, it's pretty dope. Um, another thing that has changed big time in my life is I am in a relationship. Um, yeah, this is the healthiest relationship for me, I feel like. It's definitely teaching me a lot of the lessons I feel like I needed to learn. But I was only like learning them in theory, now I'm actually like living it. I'm like practicing it in real life, like, you know, like even like lessons like you know when you're fighting like would you rather be right or would you rather be kind and i always tell myself oh i'm i'd rather be kind i'm gonna be kind you know and then like you get into an argument and you find yourself just like mm, like i have to be the right one like i'm gonna have the last word i still like i'm the right you know i'm in the right and He's been really teaching me like what real kindness like is, like how, how it really works. And I'm really learning like, you know, things like that. Those 
big life lessons that like you can't just learn from a book you know you have to like learn from life by living them so I feel very blessed to have those three in my life right now things that are the same right now for me would be this feeling I guess of like this um, even though I'm no longer pursuing acting professionally I miss blogging I miss writing not even I miss blogging I miss blogging I miss I miss like sharing stuff I miss like learning new things to share and then like connecting with people like you know finding like new like-minded people and um, like collaborating and that type of stuff like I really that's what I miss um, and I do feel like because I always feel like so I always I've always felt like a purpose driven person that like to not have like my own thing like it makes me very I don't feel alive so I don't know in what shape or form this is gonna start like turning into but I really hope that with continuous and consistent like just creation creating like I hope that like you know um, it'll all like work out and stuff yeah. Ooh, I just had like deja vu, like I was in LA. Um, oof. That was wild. It actually even feels very like poetic and like kismet that like it's 2020 and I'm ready to kind of like get back out there, create again, express like express stuff that I want to um, and it's happening in its 10 year anniversary not like to date and stuff but still I can't believe 10 years and that's why that even just like feels so like magical and like another thing about like magic and like feeling things like magical everywhere like when I was blogging and when I had an accountability buddy like consistently like that's when like crazy stuff was happening like I mean that first year I said hey I just want to book like one commercial and then I booked like between 10 to 15 and then the next year I was like okay I just want to like I want to see if I can book like one TV show and that's when I booked Criminal Minds um, and then like another time you know you guys like I met like one of my favorite favorite authors um, yeah like crazy stuff like booking certain things that like I just felt like they were meant for me and so yeah like getting back to the like living like a very magical life like you're you're a very in alignment and you feel like you're manifesting things and um, things just feel very like effortless like so meant to be um, like everything's just kind of carrying you like that type of a feeling because I had it it's something I just feel like why can't we all just get back to that you know like I was very scared to like even make a video because I've just been so inconsistent, you know? And like, it's just kind of like, I put a lot of pressure on myself. So I was a little embarrassed about like making this video, but it's just in my head, I'm sure.